All right, so let's talk about Falcon and Winter Soldier. Uh, episode one came out, and uh, it was it was really really good. You can see now that this is going to be more of a grounded Marvel show as compared to WandaVision, where we were all trying to figure out everything. This is pretty straightforward action, you know, classic Marvel or superhero style. Uh, opened up with a really really cool uh, Falcon scene as far as action goes, and. Um, but you can see it also went into the characters. This is going to be a really good show. Uh, I think it's going to be a really good show. Um, again, more grounded as far as, you know, just straight up superhero stuff. But now we're delving into the characters more uh, as far as more in-depth backstories. You know, they brought up some good points during this show. You know, how do they get paid? Uh, we never never thought about that. I've actually thought about that before. I've had, I had that conversation with somebody. Like, who pays them? Well, you think the Department of Defense or S.H.I.E.L.D. or whatever, but... It's established here that, you know, it, there, it don't really work like that. And people are, are charitable or whatever. When uh, Falcon or Sam and his sister goes try to get a, a loan through a bank. I didn't buy that part. I thought that was kind of a push um, there, uh, like a, a little too. Because obviously he has defense contracts. If he's been working with the Air Force and the Department of Defense now, he's got income. There's no reason he shouldn't have been able to get a loan. But I think they're using it because this was explored a little bit in the comic stuff about, um, you know, I guess racism is what they're going with. I, I, it seemed to me that's what they were doing is pushing like the banker was racist or something. I'm, I'm not sure if that's their idea. It's the way it kind of came across, um, you know, but it, I, I enjoyed that they show Sam's backstory and his sister is kind of a, uh, you know, a hardworking fisherman running this company man by herself. You know, Sam was gone for five years. So I appreciate that aspect of it, but I don't want them to go the identity politics route and start all that stuff. I mean, that was not bad at all. I'm not saying that particular scene was. I just felt like they were trying to make him out to be an asshole for no reason. You know what I mean? Uh, you can if if you have issues with money, just make it about the money. You know, and that would that would be a better storyline to so we can understand like how how Sam and these Avengers get paid. I mean, how do they how do they keep up their families when they're not out? avenging things so uh either way I, I do like the backstory i like his sister you know showed him working on the boat getting his hands dirty trying to trying to save uh, kind of his family's legacy i thought that was really good bucky's backstory obviously we got the flashback of being a winter soldier and uh the tie-in with this guy he's hanging out with where he ac he actually killed his son was really really good and deep and now he's got to tell him he's on this list so it shows him getting therapy and all that stuff and so we'll see them meet up, I'm assuming, next episode and start actually working together because, he, you know, the, uh, the, the psychiatrist mentioned that, you know, he was ignoring all the texts from, from uh, Sam as far as Bucky. So he's trying to – but he's trying to do – he's dealing with a lot. Like, uh, like they said, you know, he's 106 years old. And like he said to the psychiatrist, you know, I had a little bit of uh, downtime in Wakanda. But other than that, I've moved for 90 years from, bat, from fight to fight, from war to war. And that's deep. That's deep PTSD stuff right there. And uh, I think it's cool to explore all that stuff, his backstories and Falcons. And I'll tell you what, man, uh, I really enjoyed their chemistry, man. I went back and watched, um, I've seen them a million times. I went back and watched Age of Ultron, Civil War, et cetera. And uh, Sam and Bucky have such great chemistry. This is going to be the heart of this show is their chemistry. And those little comedic moments as well in the middle of these serious battles or whatever. Um, it, it's going to be really good. You for, you almost forget, even though if, if you're a big Marvel fan, you've seen these movies a million times, you almost forget um, their little scenes and how good they are together. So their chemistry is going to be great. Um, if you look, if you remember the uh, Civil War scene in the airport where they're fighting Spider-Man, uh, that was great. Uh, they were great together there. And, then, and you can see they clearly set this stuff up. Again, it goes back to the Marvel versus DC and Marvel having an actual game plan uh, this long, you know, well-established plan that they stuck to, and it worked really well. And they clearly set this up in Endgame. At the very end, when Cap gives a shield to Sam and Bucky's there, uh, that was clearly going straight into this, you know. Um, it's just like a WandaVision, you know, uh, as far as, you know, right after a couple weeks after uh, Endgame or whatever. And this is now a couple months, I believe, after Endgame. So uh, it works really well. Their chemistry is going to be outstanding. That's what, was, that's what is going to make this show pretty damn good. But again, we are back to more classic Marvel action stuff or whatever, as opposed to WandaVision, where it was like, what is, what is this? This is 
a really interesting take, a new way to tell a story. Um, we had all the theories about if somebody was in the background, it was Agatha all along, no Mephisto, all that kind of stuff, no Nightmare. They may do some of that stuff in Doctor Strange too. But anyway, the point being is, you know, you had to figure all that out, what's going on. It was always a question. There were so many little uh, Easter eggs and shout outs. This is really more of a grounded, again, straightforward Marvel show, just action. And now we have time to explore a little bit more of the backstories of the characters, how they live in their regular lives. And that's what's going to be really good about it, that and their chemistry for sure. So anyway, uh, it was a great episode, great opening episode. Uh, they were all separate, kind of established everything that Sam's been working for the Air Force. Um, you did have uh, War Machine show up. Don Cheetah was in there for a little bit at the Cat Museum. And then, of course, they kind of set up the, you know, what's going to happen during this. I believe it's only six episodes this season, but we'll go over here, take a quick picture. We have the new Captain America, uh, John Walker, ladies and gentlemen. John Walker, obviously, this is going to be a thing. Falcon gave up his shield. He didn't have to, but he did, and maybe he was helped talked into it, or maybe he was but maybe he was partially talked into it or whatever, but he, he's the one who gave it up. He didn't have to, but he chose to, and now obviously he's going to be regretting that. This is John Walker. Uh, he's from the comics as well. He was the new Captain America for a while. He was also known as the U.S. agent. So he will definitely decide, you know what, he gave that shield to me, and it's going to be a thing. So I don't know if John Walker will go bad in the show or not. I think the main villain may be him or Zemo or maybe both. Uh, if you remember Zemo, actually I'll, I'll pull up a picture of uh, him real quick if you're not rem if you don't remember for some some people may not remember Zemo uh, he was the guy here let me uh, let me just enlarge this picture here there you go so I think Zemo will also be a part of this obviously um, Baron Zemo as he's known as well this was the guy from Civil War who wanted to basically destroy the Avengers from within by they thought he was going to be uh, you know unleashing the other super soldiers or whatever and uh, it, it turns out that he just killed them all. But did he kill them all? I don't know, because we saw that one guy uh, who was pretty damn strong. So I think this is going to be uh, the guy in the background. This basically is a guy who does not want superheroes in the world. He don't think it should be a thing. He don't think that um, you should have superheroes in the world because they're dangerous or whatever, because he lost his family. So I don't, I don't know if that's the route they'll go. I think that's probably where they'll go, though, as far as you know, maybe there was another Winter Soldier that um, he possibly didn't kill or something. I'm not sure how they'll do that. We obviously had somebody who was pretty damn strong there that, that beat what's-his-name's ass, uh, the cop guy who was trying to help out uh, Sam. So I think that's going to be your uh, your main villain. Possibly they, they make uh, John Walker the villain as well. We'll see how they do. We'll see where they go with that. But... Uh, Overall, you know, it's going to be only, I think, only six episodes. I could be mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, uh, but I believe that's going to be it. And then uh, it's just going to move on to Loki. We're just going to keep going. So none of these shows are going to have second seasons, I don't believe, because they're they're setting up other movies. So uh, anyway, um, really good episode one. Uh, this is going to be a good show. Again, the, the, the strength of it is going to be their chemistry, not just the action stuff. I mean, the action stuff looks great, um, but we'll see. I think by the end of this episode, I'm assuming just to give you a little prediction, obviously it's not like it's some insightful thing um, because we know Sam does become Captain America, along with Bucky in the comics too. It, I mean, it ends up with Sam. So they're kind of skipping Bucky. They'll kind of both dabble with it, I think, a couple uh, during these, a few of these episodes. But I think in the end, we'll set up and have Sam taking back the mantle and maybe even popping the serum, the super soldier serum. I think he has to do that. So I think we'll kind of say goodbye to Falcon in that sense. and uh, Or maybe he'll continue to use the wings or whatever he could. Uh, and they could go both routes. But he will be the new Captain America, the new, uh, the new face. Because uh, you, 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 you saw what happened at the end there where they announced uh, John Walker, and he was like, oh, shit. You know, it's like, so you got the feeling that the government or whatever kind of wanted him to resign they didn't he didn't have to he made the choice it looked like he was making that choice in the beginning um and then but he did turn it in and say you know i'm not captain america that was steve rogers they went through the museum then of course they recruited somebody else and gave him the damn shield so he's gonna be getting his fucking shield back so um gonna be a really good show uh, anyway, guys, I will leave it there. I'll leave this one a little bit shorter than usual. Uh, I may chop this up into two videos or whatever. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do here going forward. 
whether I make this uh, a whole show or I keep or just chop these up into segments and then put the show on on you know maybe Patreon uh, or or something else or maybe for members only the whole thing because there's some extra things I want to talk about that may not be cut up into videos. But uh, anyway, guys, as usual, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you dig this format of things. Uh, I've had a, a, a lot of good feedback. I'm going to add some other segments as well where I read some of your comments. So uh, leave me some comments about whatever we've talked about in any of these shows, and the next time I will like grab some and do a, a segment on that as well. Uh, if that's something you're interested in, let me know. Uh, be sure to uh, smash that damn like button as usual, and uh, please hit the subscribe button as we try to save this channel and you know get it at least moving forward again in the right direction. Uh, really quick, I want to mention as well, the book, uh, is my book, uh, uh, The Crimson Gods, is going to be edited in two weeks, a little less than two weeks now, so I'm really excited. The first professional edit is going to begin. I have another Indiegogo campaign that is live now. I'll link that in the description and probably the pinned comment as well for anybody that missed out and try to, uh, we raised about 56% on the first one of our goal, which pretty much will cover the editing and all that as well, uh, as far as uh, all four rounds of that, and then now want to make sure we have plenty for the cover design, which I need to start that, as well as the audiobook. That's the other big cost as far as a, uh, you know, having a voice actor do it professionally, and I definitely want to have an audio version. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. I uh, really appreciate all the support. Uh, thank you to you guys on Patreon for sponsoring these videos. I uh, appreciate the continued support there. Please consider joining our Patreon community to continue to support this channel so we can get it turned around. Uh, appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.